What is going on, you guys? It is your boy, Mz here, and man, this episode is going to be rough because this is the episode that I've been basically waiting for. This is the Toya episode where literally everything is going to be shown to us. Now, I've really been waiting for this episode this entire like season basically like ever since we got the reveal that toya was dobby and we did get a little bit of flashback in that episode we did get a little bit of a gist with it but now really with ray and the rest of the todoroki family here we're gonna know everything hopefully like and it's like i can't wait to see it but it's gonna be rough to see it because i know maybe this is probably gonna be the most depressing episode in the series i don't know i have no freaking idea but it's just i've been waiting for this episode i just cannot wait to see what is actually like what what has happened back in the past and it's just i i really can't say anything much because i just want to go straight into it so without any further ado let's get straight the hell into it but guys if you are new to the channel you guys like my reaction like subscribe comment down below and if you guys want to be notified on release those videos definitely smash that notification bell but with that being said let's get right into the episode That's, an that's a really good looking tie. <laughs> Especially for Endeavor. So this is when they got together. We're going this far back? Oh god. Hmm. She could have. For the sake of her family. First time since the hospital. Let's get into it, man. Look at this dude. Look at me. Oh god. The wrong way to put out a fire. Told you over and over, it's for your own sake. Yeah. Tolerate ice and the cold better than flames. But Endeavor was just too much set on trying to do what he had to do, or what he wanted to do. This is so adorable, man. Damn. <sighs> girls wouldn't understand god it just put toya in such a difficult position just with his father and just everything and we've known that toya cannot surpass all might And as the days moved on, probably got worse and worse. Just wondering how maybe that made Toya feel. I mean, let alone Endeavor. Look at that. Is this Todoroki finally? Yes, it is. 
These shots are insane. Where are we at now? It drove him to... He tried to tell him, but it was too late, man. There's no way I can understand. Wow. He's he not. Oh shit. Was he trying to? Seems like you're bounced by your father and suffering. Just like what he was saying to him. What do you know? Damn! That's why I was born. Oh my god. <sighs> Holy shit. I couldn't stop him. Look. The panels are something else, man, in this episode. My God. Those eyes, just like how Toya's eyes were. That moment again. My mind broke completely. Probably would have got worse, yeah. Wow. So this really was what happened? No control. Holy shit. These panels are something else, man. For real. Like, I, I really have no words to say about these panels. No, I knew you were breaking apart. I was too scared to dig too deep. So Natsuo is maybe gonna... Maybe try to blame himself? Then again, just can't do that. It's not yours to bear alone. But to fight Dobby. Yeah. The fight was lit, man. God, it's been so long. This is our family's hero.
God, this is hard. This is what they need. Who's this? Oh, Hawks! Hey, what? <laughs> That's the way we came out. <laughs> the damn. You're so cool. <laughs> yeah. 132 escaped Liberation Front members. That's all that remains right now. Yeah, but all the other Tartarus freaking escapees. It's more hell than ever, and it's probably going to be more hell than, than we're ever going to get in this show. Rescue teams and heroes from other countries. Ooh. Going to get some more different characters, maybe? Hopefully. Season 7? You have no choice but to fight. That's good. Hell no. Those arms are shot unless we can get some sort of support item or something. I really hope that's not his full name. Really shorten it to something like Dynamite or some shit. Yeah. All of my dead. You add all might to the equation. I really wonder how close this they're gonna kind of maybe get to finding out anything. I don't know. Is he? Is he? Well, damn, now I'm gonna have to find out for next week. <laughs> Uh, but regardless, honestly, one of the best episodes in the season. You can't tell me it wasn't, and I got so much to talk about. This episode was crazy for a lot of reasons. Number one, the visuals, and let alone the panels. Once I get the actual volume, which is probably volume 31, but oh my god. God, the panels were nuts. They were very, very beautiful. Bones did a really, really good job adapting really everything in here. I thought I thought this was an incredible episode. Like, for real. I thought they hit a 10 out of 10 on this episode. I think that this episode was definitely in the top five. Probably maybe even maybe the top three a little bit. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me or let me know what you guys think about this episode internally. But no, this episode was really, really sad and really, really brutal as I was expecting. Now, with the Toya character, we've known that he had that drive, he had that motivation from Endeavor to try to impress Endeavor, to show him that he could surpass All Might and just look how better he's gotten. But, like, not even the fact that just in his mind because it was nowhere in his mind that the amount of harm that he was doing to himself it did not matter the only thing that mattered to him was getting the praise from his father that was really only it and endeavor set him up for that and that that, that was the downfall for toya that really really was and we know and obviously what happened in the forest and just all that but just really getting the other Todoroki family's aspect in this entire thing and what they what they were dealing with especially with Ray my god Ray like we we've all known how much of a broken character and just how much Ray has been dealing with like ever since even going to like being put in the hospital by Endeavor but just in that situation, in that entire situation with having kid after kid after kid, like it, it just melted her mind and just, it just really, it, she really didn't know. 
she really honestly didn't know and it was just so much that she was taking in let alone from toya which is everything that he was saying everything like all the abuse that she was getting from endeavor physically and mentally like there was so much that this character has been dealing with and then eventually she broke she like she lost it and then she went off on shoto and gave him the scar so it was like it was absolutely crazy and i love that we got also with natsuo in here as well because natsuo even though in himself was putting the blame a little bit on him in present time or like oh maybe if i would have like maybe knocked some sense back into toya maybe i would have done something but honestly i don't think there would have been anything at that point where you could have knocked some sense back into Toya or try to unconvince him, like to stop from what he was doing, like stop all the self-harm to just get the praise of your father. But what he, I mean, it wasn't even only that, it was the fact that he would see Natsuo born, Fuyumi born, and then Shoto born, like, as he would see all this, the more and more down that he was getting and the more drive and crazy there, like crazier that he was getting with just what he wanted to do. And just the main fact that he didn't care about him like at that point right there unless he were to do something and get that praise he did not care about him and it wasn't only toya in his mind toya knew that obviously with fiumi and with natsuo that all three of them were really just non-existent really to endeavor all endeavor cared about was shoto and building him up to be the next one to surpass all might so it really put him with everything that's happened in that mindset and i really loved how they done everything it's really really sad and really really brutal and just really me thinking and just how my original prediction was gonna go uh it's a little bit similar it really really is but it just a lot of added more depth into this entire story and just this entire origin and it, it's crazy it's absolutely crazy it's one of the craziest dynamics in my hero academia with the Todoroki family like I I really kind of can't get, go into it anymore I, I really kind of can't but it looks like the next episode it's probably hopefully gonna focus on Deku and I mean, we, we all know how this arc is maybe gonna focus on Deku. We know that Deku is gonna be the main focal point. We do know that, and I'm, I'm just saying this because I know that this is a term. We do know Vigilante Deku is coming. I wanna know what that turn is gonna be. I wanna know what is going to be that shift with this character after everything that he went through with Shigaraki in this entire war, this first part of the war nonetheless, and what is his mindset going to be? How is he gonna go from here being a hero and just everything else? What is gonna change? And probably like how All Might was seeing, maybe he is talking to the freaking like freaking vestiges or whatever. Like maybe we will actually get a scene next episode. I haven't seen the preview, which I might maybe after this, I don't really know. But the fact of the matter is we're going to get a lot from Deku. It looks like maybe he'll wake up in the next episode. I'm not sure. But this season is getting very, very good. Honestly, this season has been very, very good. But I'm saying this arc is going to get interesting quick. And I cannot wait to see what else we have left in store. Thank you guys for watching my reaction. You guys are excited for the rest of my year academia. And you guys like the channel. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi and I am out.